Hey everyone, this is Arun and I'm back again with another video. So today in this video, I'm going to showcase one of my uh, sales dashboard that I created using Looker Studio, where I am using uh, Google Sheets as a backend. And uh, in this dashboard, I have to display two dashboards, which one is uh, sales dashboard and the another one is the budget dash dashboard. So both are of the dashboards have their own uh, cards and uh, features. So uh, in this dashboard, sales dashboard, so I've used revenue uh, displayed as say on the top of the card with black color. And then uh, this one is our cost. And then this one is our margin then rate margin, then quantity and average and then transactions. So, uh, on the top of it, we have a logo and then we have four uh, filters. First one is for product. So uh, it's a drop down where we can select any of the product or all of the product. And then uh, here we have the city, then we have the sellers. And then this is a date where we can select from and to the start date and end date. So um, the top of the chart displays the sales and margin trends where we have the revenues in yellow color and margin is that blue line that's referencing uh, monthly wise data. Now here uh, we have the top sellers with their names and the amount they have sold. Then again, this is a table where uh, we have dates, then products, then their quantities, then revenues and margin and rate margin. Similarly, this one is for top city sales from which we get the maximum uh, sales. So here, uh, Minnesota, New York, Washington, then all of these. And this is sales by channel. And then this one is our top product. So this is a um, pie chart which is uh, reflecting the top product. So this is all about the sales dashboard. And then again, we have, uh, if I click on the second button, it's a budget dashboard. So on budget dashboard, it's similar to sales dashboard, which we have four uh, drop downs, product, then city, sellers, and then date. And then we have cards here, uh, realization, then budget, variance, and variance rate. So all these are dynamic based on the selection, what we are selecting. So if I select any of the city, let's say I'm selecting only Washington, then the whole dashboard gets changed. And there we can see, uh, we have the realization and budget per month gets changed. Then budget analyzes by product. So they all are live basis. And um, we have a form uh, which capturing this data. Uh, in the Google Sheets. So uh, it's upon us what features we are looking for um, to enter the data and then displaying the matrices. So uh, this is all about the sales and dashboard, sales dashboard and budget dashboard. So I hope uh, you like this video. And uh, if you need any changes or customizations or if you have any uh, such type of request where you need the sales dashboard to be created. So uh, you can just reach me out uh, over my contact, uh, over my WhatsApp or my email address, which I will be sharing you in the description part of this video. So um, thank you for watching this video and I hope you like this video and we will uh, talk very soon for your next project. So till then, bye and have a good day. Take care.